Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Krina Vizumilusevic, and I'm the director of the Institute of European, uh, Russian, and Eurasian Studies. Welcome to EUROS. I'm very excited that uh, you joined us this year, and I'm certainly looking forward to get to know you uh, better and to be working with you. Except for being the director of the Institute, I'm also the graduate supervisor, which is uh, a, an important piece of information for you. So I'm the to go person, if you have any questions, any, any issues, I'll try to help out or at least to direct you to the right, uh, to the right office or the right uh, person. I'm also highly involved in the Center for European Studies. So I'm the Associate Director of the Center and also the Academic Coordinator of the um, Jean Monnet Project studying EU in Canadian high schools. So a little bit about myself uh, is probably is not very hard to figure out. I am not from here. I am. Uh, I was born and raised in Romania. I came to Canada in 2002 to complete my PhD in agriculture economics at University of Saskatchewan. I have uh, a BA and a master from Romania and also in economics and also a master um, in agriculture economics from Greece. So um, uh, from uh, educational background, I would say I completed um, uh, degrees in various specializations within uh, the economics discipline. Um, However, I would describe myself as an applied economist um, and my main um, areas of teaching and, and uh, um, research lie within uh, political economy issues. Uh, in terms of employment history, I started my uh, teaching career in uh, 2007 at uh, Johnson Shoyama uh, School of Public Policy at uh, University of Regina, where I was a professor for a period of two years. Uh, in 2009, I moved at Carlton, at Eurus, and since then, uh, I continue uh, uh, being a member of, of the Eurus team. Given my um, uh, European background, um, my interest in European integration and economic transition was always there, but was purely personal up to a certain point. I lived through the uh, economic and political transition of Romania. I was in Greece at the time of Euro adoption. So these topics were, um, you know, daily topics of discussions with, with family and friends. However, my research interest in European integration has started during my PhD. When I start analyzing the formation of the single market um, uh, in the agricultural sector and um, by um, researching the effects of the common agriculture policy of the European Union. Uh, once I moved to, to Euros, you know, my research um, uh, topics expanded a little bit, but stay within the region. So my current uh, research interests are related to uh, generally to European economic integration, EU trade policy, EU as a global actor. And I would say more specifically, I'm looking more at uh, EU Canada, uh, comprehensive uh, and economic trade agreement. Um, I'm uh, uh, analyzing the effects of the EU trade policy on its member states. And, and uh, more currently, as an, an idea that I'm working with a couple of colleagues, which is quite new, uh, in, uh, is uh, to compare the EU, Russia, and China uh, as um, regional actors and uh, to compare the types of regionalism that they are pursuing in Eurasia. Um, so in terms of teaching, I, I teach and co-teach a number of undergraduate and graduate courses. Uh, now, depending on the year, they are changing. So for example, this year, I am one of the instructors of the uh, core courses for, for the MA program. And I also teach an European economic integration course in the winter term. Uh, next year, I'll probably uh, teach another elective, uh, such as uh, economics, economics of transition or uh, EU as a global actor. Um, I have to say that I, I love teaching uh, Euros courses because the material is interdisciplinary. So don't be afraid if you see some kind of economics in the title. Uh, it's still an interdisciplinary. Um, and uh, I think the part that I enjoy the most is that you guys, the students, are from various backgrounds. So it's interesting to experience how the same issues can be seen and explained in, in so many uh, different ways. 
So for now, I, I will uh, end here. Uh, again, I'm looking forward to get to know you. Um, in case you have questions about the program, course selections, um, uh, research topics that are within my area of expertise or, or other issues that you might want an, an opinion on, please feel free to always email me um, and uh, we can certainly arrange for a meeting either online or in person. Um, I, uh, I hope you'll enjoy the program. Good luck with the program. And um, I will see you all at the online um, orientation, which will take place on September 8th.